Aidan, it's fair to say it's been a pretty incredible season so far for you. This fantastic break into the first team and most recently debut for the Scotland 21s. How does that feel? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been, been brilliant. Uh, it's been a bit of a roller coaster, but uh, we've changed it for the world. Uh, obviously, joining at such a young age as well, it's a, it's a dream come true, really. Talk us through that 21s debut against Belgium, obviously one of the, the best young sides in the world. Beat them 2-0 as well. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was a, a boy got injured quite early on, so uh, lucky enough for me, it's a good opportunity for me to, to showcase my talent at a big stage like that. Uh, came on in a different position for me as well. Uh, not not familiar with it, but it's just an honour to get on the pitch really and play play for Scotland. But you can say you said that. Uh, like I've said, the 2-0 against Belgium, the top, top team. Uh, was, was good for the boys. Obviously, it wasn't easy, it was tricky at times, but the boys got through it and ended up being a, a good camp at the end of it, yeah. We're going to be looking through various of your shirts today across your time playing for Hearts and for Scotland. In relation to that 21 shirt, it's seen better days, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it has, you're right, you're right. I, I got, got a, in a flight back home uh, yesterday, so I'm not a chance to wash it, no, but it's, it's a, you can tell it was a tough game and that's tough, yeah. Aidan, shall we get cracking with these shirts? Let's do it. Tell us a little bit about the story behind that shirt and what sort of age you'd have been when you were wearing that. I would have been about probably nine wearing this. Uh, we went over to Belgium. It was uh, quite a young age group uh, playing against top teams. I think Chelsea and Leipzig, all of them were there. Uh, it was a good experience for the boys. Uh, but now I've kept this since such a young age, so it's, it's good. Obviously, you probably wouldn't squeeze into that shirt. Now. <laughs> probably not. No, you're right. It's, it's tiny, but no, it's good to still have it. And uh, mum and dad still have all, all the tops. Yeah, so it's brilliant. This is one of the earliest shirts in your collection. What are your memories of sort of signing for Hearts at that early age in the academy? What are your memories from that time? Great, rem great memories. Uh, signed when I was uh, eight. I was actually too young to sign, so I was there when I was seven. Uh, played for a year, uh, and then when it was my eighth birthday, finally signed. Then be been through the academy since, yeah. I uh, can't speak high enough for the academy. Had great coaches along the way. Um, yeah, brilliant. So that's a shirt from a, a very special season for Hearts, from the yep. club. As a supporter, I mean, getting to have that in your collection, one of the most iconic tops <laughs> yeah. in this club's history, I mean, it's obviously a very special moment. Yeah, right, we were just talking about it as well with uh, Ostar's goal at uh, ha ha uh, Hibs and then the Osmond Soul at Rangers. Uh, brilliant, now brilliant, great memories in this, but, and for me to still have it, it's a great honour, yeah. Season 21-22 next for this shirt. Talk us a little bit through about this one, because I imagine this is when things started to really get serious for your hearts. Yeah, yeah, it was, a, it was a weird season, it was a Covid season, uh, but it started off probably pre-season, uh, it was about 16, done uh, pre-season throughout uh, with the first team. It was, it was brilliant, it was different, but it was brilliant, good challenge. And then had to be patient and then finally got my debut against Cove in the Cup. What are your memories from that first game? Because um, for any young player, it must be quite intimidating being thrown into that sort of experience. Yeah, of course. My mum and dad actually couldn't come to the game, obviously, but uh, me making my debut at Tyne Castle was a, a dream come true, really. Uh, but it was good, I enjoyed it, obviously. Got a good run out. Uh, uh, just memories, brilliant. Uh, had a few fans here as well, which is, which is a different class. A slightly surreal feeling, isn't it? Being a heart supporter growing up and then finally getting a chance to get her in that. You know, just do you get the call? Are you like bouncing about the place and kind of? Yeah, well, you, you get your team, you, the team news, and even seeing your name there, um, with the names that were there, were, was, was crazy. And then you just dream about getting on, and then getting on's <laughs> a breath of fresh air. It was brilliant. Uh, didn't even picture it, but uh, no, it was surreal. It was brilliant. This is it, the big one. Rosenborg away, Sean Dine, part of the squad. Tell us the story about how you got your first taste of European football. Part. Yeah, of course you prepare as much as you can. Uh, and then getting the chance to come on in a Europa League game is crazy, uh, if you even think about it. But uh, I remember getting told to warm up and it was a bit a bit surreal. Uh, and then coming on, you just try and get your first touch away. Uh, but it was brilliant, yeah, brilliant. I mean, coming into a European game, I mean, that's a, the occasion enough, mm -hmm. is momentous. But coming in and perform, <laughs> performing exceptionally well yeah. as well, you know? No, it was brilliant. Both legs, uh, and the boys, the boys done, done brilliant. Uh, obviously, they get through as well to play a top team like Palk as well, which was... Yeah which is brilliant, uh, but for me personally and my family as well, it was a great achievement, uh, something that I can say I've done. What are your memories from that game sort of coming on at the Lerkendal Stadion and you're sort of taking, in, taking it all in? Yeah. What, was, what were those kind of minutes like for you on that day? Uh, they, went, they, went, they went fairly long because you're just trying to take it all in. Uh, it was brilliant. Uh, 
obviously, like I've said to you, try and get your first touch away, try and get your first pass, and then you try and go into the game as much as you can. As a young boy coming on, it's, it is difficult, but it's, it's amazing. Uh, it's a great experience for me and uh, hopefully many more to come. And to do it in such an iconic shirt as well, this season's third kit, and I think you can see on it, <laughs> it's still ca still carrying the scars from that day. Uh, I've, I've, not, I've, not, I've not washed it, no, you, you're right. Uh, it's, a great, it's a great top, probably one of my favourite ones. Uh, it's, it's a memorable one for me, obviously, to get my European debut in it as well, uh, and obviously to get through to the next round was even more, more important. This is the shirt that you made your Scotland 21's debut victory against Belgium. Talk us through it because it's been through the trenches clearly. You're right, uh, obviously a boy got injured quite early on and you just dream of coming on for Scotland and then playing against Belgium a top side uh, and beating them 2-0 was, was icing on the cake really. What's that experience like obviously kind of travelling and being with the boys especially with you've got some Hearts colleagues in there with you as well? Makes it easier yeah I've got Alex and Lewis so they made it pretty easy to, to join a group but it's a great bunch of boys uh, two tough places to go uh, uh, last week and got, got some good, uh, good points on the board so sitting second in the group now so it's looking good. Getting that call for Scotland probably just as exciting as getting that call to let you know you're getting in the first team at Hearts and, and whatnot. Talk us through your emotions at representing your country because that's yeah. just the dream isn't it? Of course, uh, getting the first call obviously I went to the camp uh, last month and didn't manage to get on but even that was still a huge huge honour and then when I got a call again uh, for this month it was, was amazing uh, and you dream about coming on and then obviously going away to Belgium uh, that's all you want to do, you want to play for your, for your country and managed to do that in, in, a, in a great night. The uh, boys, boys found it tough but it was, a, it was a great night all around, yeah. And beating Belgium of course, one of the quality, quality young mm -hmm. side. But I mean, getting to do that to them, Scotland boys proving their quality, it's, it's really something that's good. 100%, aye, the Scotland boys, aye, yeah, brilliant. Uh, obviously there's a lot of talent in the group. Uh, and obviously beating our top side like Belgium, sitting second in our group now with the likes of Spain and Hungary and, and Belgium as well and Kazakhstan. It's, it shows that Scotland's got great, great uh, talent coming through, yeah. This is the last shirt we'll be looking at, even. Mm -hmm. In terms of the ones we've all gone through so far, if you had to pick, if you had to pick one, which one's your sort of favourite, your number one? Ah, oh, that'd be my Rosenberg one, I'd imagine. Yeah, it's coming on in a Europa League game is something that everybody wants to do, and especially as a Hearts fan as well, away from home. Uh, and obviously I played against it in Ross County as well, had that on as well, so uh, yeah, that's probably my favourite one, but obviously this one as well, holds a great uh, place in my heart as well, yeah. Aiden, thanks for showing us your shirt. No worries at all, no worries.